know Sean Steyer. He's one of our video editors here at the studio, and he's been in several segments. And the reason why, Sean, you know why, right? Because you're a regular guy who's not <laughs> afraid of the camera. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody thinks you're so nice on camera. I do, too. We're going to make something that Sean wants to learn how to make. He says his kitchen is... Very small. I've got a small but kitchen. Adequate. But it's you adequate. You have a stove, right? Yes, I got a stove. You have an oven? Got an oven. Oh, good. So, you have a pan? Got some pans. Got cast iron pans. Actually. Good. How many? Uh, a little set, like four different sizes. Okay, so. good. So, you can make quesadillas. Okay. And are you going to have a baseball party at a World Definitely Series Definitely having party? a World Series party oh, every yes. year. So, who's going to be in the World Series? I don't know. I'm hoping the Yankees can make it, but uh, you look, never know. They look pretty pitiful. <laughs> yeah. So, I thought we'd show you how to make a corn and zucchini and onion quesadilla. Does right. it sound good? Normally, I'm like a meat eater, but this sounds very good. So. Oh, okay. I want to show you how to take the corn off the cob. Have you done this before? No, I no. bought okay. it off the cob. You, but, uh... you bit it off the cob. <laughs> you ate it off the I cob. I can do it like that. So just take it. Don't get into the cob itself. Just take okay. the kernels right at the base, and you just take the knife like that. Okay. And I know you can do this because you edit so perfectly. <laughs> Cutting can, is something I can do. Right. You can <laughs> cut a corn if you can cut a piece of tape, right? Okay, so just straight down. Yeah. Not too deep. You do that. Okay. In the meantime, I'm sautéing white onion, which has been sliced, one tablespoon of olive oil, one white onion, and two cloves of garlic, just really uh, finely minced. And I'm going to add to that one zucchini that's been thinly sliced. You can see, look, about right. an eighth of an inch, okay. a little less than a quarter of an inch. So we're going to cook this all with the corn as soon as you finish for about, oh, five to seven minutes until it just starts to look as if it's actually cooked. Is it going to get real soft or is it going to be well, more... Well, yeah, you don't want it real, real soft because you okay. want a little texture. Oh, you even took the end off, which... Oh, you're, well, you're, you're getting... Well, let, me just take, let me take this off. Okay. Oh, I, I see. So it's easier for you to stand it up? Right. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to tilt. Good first. idea. I never did that. See how the zucchini is just starting to get a little moist now? We just want it to get nice and soft. Sort of like a vegetable stew. Right. Five to seven minutes. So anything else going in this? You could add some jalapeno peppers if you want a spicy filling. Yeah, can we do Wouldn't that? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Do you have some? Take a jalapeno right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now watch out. Are your fingers um, tender to this kind no, of? No, no, I'll be okay. fine. So cut this okay, lengthwise sure that. and take the seeds out. You don't want the seeds in. A lot of people find that now you want to scrape out the seeds. Okay. Okay, so Those going to add more heat? Are they going to? Oh, yeah, they're very hot. So, so I mean, go sideways here like this. Okay, like sure. this, watch. Just cut that pith out and just scrape it out. See, I, yeah. I barely even touch the pepper because then if I put my fingers in my eyes, oh my God. <laughs> not the seeds. I will not <laughs> be any good for television for the rest of the day. Maybe I should do that right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We'll start drinking so those Coronas. And, and then, then I want you to cut that into very, very fine slices. Okay. But you have to deal Making with a suffer. lot of stuff exactly. back in that edit room, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Can be what do you do with all the bad sometimes? shots of me? Do you save them all in one great big pile to um, you know, I keep to my own little reel. A few that, years uh, ago? <laughs> I keep a little reel that I can show at the Christmas party or something oh, okay. like that. There's not too many me. bad shots of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of scowling <laughs> shots. I call those my thinking shots. You're pretty handy with a knife. Well, I, I picked this up watching you in the editing bay. <laughs> I find that the best way to learn is to watch. Well, I've done and plenty then of that. practice after you. I'm going to toss some of these in. Yep. Your no, friends. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Is my what? friends? They're all a bunch of carnivores, and I'm looking at this. This looks great, but I got to well, have you know some what meat. You, could do. you got anything in the fridge? I don't know. Let's see. How about chicken? Oh, we could do shredded chicken. Okay. So there I don't even consider that much carnivore. Well, there's some sort of meat. It'll fool. If I serve them just vegetables, they're going to throw me out the window. Okay. I guarantee. Now, mm -hmm. I, would, I would just slice this really thinly on okay. an angle like that. See? Right. So you do this, okay? Okay, I'll do it real thin you while you finish with the... Okay, now I'm going to start making the quesadillas. Now, for a party, this is the great thing. You can make all of these in advance. So you take your tortilla like that. Okay. You put a little bit of your... I'll make mine first. Okay? The pans are heating. Okay. Uh, they're going to have to have a little canola oil or olive oil in the pans. But see how I'm just making sure that everybody's... You're just spreading it out nicely. Yeah, this is small, so uh, maybe a quarter each, or maybe I'll make this into five pieces when okay. I finish it. So everybody's going to have corn, everybody's going to have onion, everybody's going to have Some of that a, piece of, a piece of zucchini. Yeah, forget the jalapeno. Oh, <laughs> I think this is, this is going to be a very hot tortilla. Ooh, you like it spicy. Now, I have Monterey Jack cheese here, as okay. well as cheddar. Right. So you can use one, you can use both. You can... 
also have, I like to use orange cheddar sometimes for color. Okay. And so that's that one, okay? Done. Now you can Ooh, just, on it. top of that, you can make another one. And stack them, maybe okay. up to about five well, Let me tall. throw some of this chicken on that yeah, one. Yeah, okay, so don't throw. Once you get it set. How about placing <laughs> neatly? <laughs> okay, so I'll just lay some chicken in on top of that. Then don't the have salsa. them hang over the edge either. Okay, now the salsa will we add now or later? Oh, no, after it's cooked. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's two done. You want to make one? Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, why don't you make, make one right over uh, here? Want to throw me some so, vegetables? Yeah, I'll throw them <laughs> to you. Here, help yourself. Right, you hold that. Help yourself. I'll try and spread this out well. I'll just take a couple of spoons, yeah, and then you can arrange. Right. Okay. Then. Okay. You can take your quesadilla and just place it in the pan. Okay. And this is just kind of bubbling, a little sizzle going. Yeah. This quesadilla recipe is in our new cookbook. This is called the Martha Stewart Living Cookbook, 1,200 Recipes. It's our 10th anniversary cookbook, and you must get one of these. I'm sure I will. Maybe I'll give you one for being on the segment with okay. me. Okay. That'll teach me how to cook more. Yes. And so here's one. Okay. Now one can be cut with a little pizza wheel. Oh, don't throw. Oh, I'm sorry. See? Throw, throw. <laughs> throw, throw. No, throw. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mom. Where's Sean's mom? Yeah, so it's going to be cut into four. Okay. And then you can lift this right up and put it back on the plate. Or you can cut them with scissors, Sean. I, I often cut them with scissors. And by the way, if you don't have a good stove and you do have a grill, mm -hmm. tortillas can be done oh, I got a on grill. the grill. Okay. Yes, indeed. So I, I like to put a little bit of creme fraiche or sour cream right on the top. Now, I don't care if your buddies are carnivores or not. I bet they would eat this with gusto. What do you think? I think so. There's two beautiful quesadillas. And we'll just continue cooking. And thanks very much, Sean, right. for, well, thanks uh, for showing me. the perfect party food, quesadillas, for a bunch of guys watching the game. Yep, drinking or... beer, watching the game. Okay.